So a supercomputer is a collection of individual computers that are tied together in a way that helps them to run massive applications as though you had a single computer. When we started the center here then, we had a Cray XMP48, which was a one of six machines that were the fastest computers in the world. And that computer was about as fast as my iPhone and cost $14 million. And the tremendous advance in computing technology has been made possible by something called Moore's Law, where the speed keeps getting faster and faster every year because of the um, miniaturization of the processors that go into these computers. What makes a supercomputer different is we usually have a low latency, like nanosecond and microsecond latency fabric that can do remote memory operations, where one computer can reach out and get data from another computer's memory without having to involve the other computer's processor. This means that a single application can act like it's running on a single computer, and it's excellent for massive simulations and data analysis and other things. The Comet is our latest supercomputer. It's got 1,944 of those individual computers I was talking about, but it also has that high-speed network. What makes me proud about the work being done at SDSC is the diversity of the research and development we do. Everything from climate change simulations to predicting earthquake consequences to helping California firefighters detect the next wildfire. Great people work at SDSC who care. SDSC people are PhD scientists and really skilled software developers and really skilled data scientists and system engineers. They are pretty special people. They could be anywhere, but they choose to be at SDSC because they also care about the impact of their work. And who doesn't want to work with the world's biggest computers, the world's largest data sets, and the world's best scientists? Flamingo, which is the informal mascot of SDSC. The uh, Pink Flamingo started as a joke 30 years ago when the center was founded. There are urban legends about it, and one of them is at our dedication to the governor some years ago. A staff member placed some flamingos to make the building look nice. And you know, one of them was put out in front of our brand new building. And when uh, an official from the National Science Foundation came uh, and saw it there, he thought it looked kind of tacky and suggested that we remove it. And the response was to get a whole lot more pink flamingos, which were scattered all around the building for a while. And it's become this SDSC thing over the years. 